yo, 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 Back from our break. Is everyone feeling fresh and refreshed and rested and eager? We get back on with this. I'm alive? No, it's not from alive. Hi Vince. Evening. And it's actually evening for once. What a pleasant treat that is. Start the week off with the French Derby. Ooh. Starman, Eden Hazard. Aguero back. Hopefully get some goals. Uh, no Starman. Who is the star? Ross Barkley. Damn. Uh, I have no idea who the Starman is. Must be somebody that's missing. Let's see what we've got. Nicky got so whatever ridiculous cultural activity it is of the, of the moment. Royce? No, Royce? Kolarov? Oh! Oh! Maybe a loss in the French derby may may well be enough for Enrique to get done. Aguero, Colorado, playing in in the middle of a thunderstorm. Right, it's not just me that keeps seeing like the lightning flashes. Right, or am I going crazy? I might be imagining lightning flashes. Just spent too long sat at my computer today. Ah. <laughs> oh. Rosa making a rare appearance. So Rowan, given your wonderful musical talents, you came up with the song for Le Canard. Now, since then, what a goal this is. Eden Hazard, diminutive winger, back post. Since that has happened, uh, the board have sacked Claude Lelois. Hence, we're, we're going to be having to rebrand. So Le Canard, the name is done. We've hired a Portuguese speaking manager. So we will be rebranding to Os Patos. Well, we will be, assuming we finish above FC Barcelona, which let's be honest, we ain't going to finish above FC Barcelona. So one would assume I'm going to actually be called some geese related team name. Fucking geese. I hate geese. Oh! Creative genius Joe Gomez. Fixes Akanji's terrible first effort. Turns up into the top corner. 
flabbly jabbly. I don't believe Rowan is joining us, but there are rumours. There are rumours of a new DOF having declared interest. This is indeed the first game. Whamma, we're up next, so a nice easy win for the Martyrs. Oh, Eden Hazard, Maisie run. Thunders it past the keeper. Let's be honest, Whamma. None of us believe that. I've opted for the three striker formation in a squad with no strikers that are good. I've only got myself to blame. I don't know what came over me when I was hiring a replacement. Should have just gone for something boring like a 4-2-3-1. My team would probably do a really good 4-2-3-1 flying or flying V. Well, uh, it's not looking good, Nicky. Yeah, but whammo, I'm second bottom. Literally, the only team worse than me is Newcastle United. Nikki, can you not just refresh? <laughs> oh, Hazard's off! Oh, just misses out on the hat trick. <laughs> yes, Whammer. I was hoping someone would do it. <laughs> I, w I was trying to work out if I could say it and get it done quick enough. I, I realised that that wouldn't work. <laughs> On the plus side, Nicky, uh, Luis Enrique is probably uh, not long for this job. Ah, uh, whammer in your <laughs> commitment to grammar. <laughs> oh, blows a two D. Just, just a bit of a, a telling off. Nothing too serious. Don't know why Lloris conceded that corner. It was going out, but fair enough. To each their own. <laughs> oh, Big Frank and his fake hip back in action. I love Frank and his fake hip. What a man, eh? Gets a hip replacement and then still plays football at the highest level. Robo Rebury. There you have it. It's happened. Sniffing tool. Da -da 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 -da. I like how Zidane's being linked with all the other jobs. What, Big Frank? Yeah, Big Frank's a former goose. 
Luis Benrique. <laughs> I I I don't think you could just steal managers from other teams, Nicky. Uh, but I like the effort. A for effort. Hey, I get to play with. Oh wait, no, John Stones. You're not Jesus Navas. Who's Jesus Navas? You're not a real right back. Which of the current crop of top level players do you think is going to make the next great manager? Because we've got like the Simeones, the Zidans, the Guardiolas. They've all done a real. Oh, come on! Cheeky pen! Cheeky penalty! And then obviously, to a lesser extent, we've got your Lampards. He's done a pretty good job. Your Solskjaers. He's not great, but he's done a reasonable job at a big club. Is Arteta the next one to make a big step? But he was never a world-class player, so I don't know if he makes the same category. Oh, Big Bob Thunders at home. Like, do we think Messi or Ronaldo have a future in management? I can't see Messi doing it. Messi. Uh, I feel like Messi just doesn't love football enough. You can see Harry Kane as a mediocre manager. I can see it. Oh, De Bruyne. Oh. Let's be honest. When you look at most of the the best, they tend to be centre mids, right? Lots of centre mids go on to be quality managers. You got, like I said, Lampard, Simeone, Guardiola. I guess the Dan kind of. Not not quite as. Oh. Just trading penalties. Michael Carrick. To be fair, I reckon Carrick would be a great manager given the opportunity. Fits that role, doesn't he? Referee, don't let's not do anything silly. Okay, that's fine. Oh Alison. Things we love to see. So which aging centre mids have we got kicking around? So, hear me out. Luka Modric. Has he got it in him? Is Luka Modric the next big thing in management? Just think, next season, we'll have the expected goals graphs. Wow. Think how demoralising that's going to be. You don't think Modric will get a European club job? Oh? Oh, we've got another Gianluca Mancini. What I'm excited. Oh, there's a point. Surely the centre mid we all want to see become a manager is Paul Pogba. Can you imagine what that would be like? Defending the crying is value and convenience. <laughs> okay, Whammer, uh, guess you were right. 
You you really are just that shit. <laughs> Urzil, I think, will go into management, and I think Urzil will be great at it. To be fair, I don't know why he's not getting his badges done at the minute. Might as well pick him up. <laughs> Can you imagine us as a manager though? Like, if he gets a player that's pissing him off, so he tries to freeze him out. And then he's just... If you're that player, like... Well, shit. Um... I guess if Urzel's freezing me out, like, he knows what it's like. <laughs> oh! Off the bar, up, down, out and collect. James MacArthur. Yeah, no, I can't see that one. Is John Terry still in the mix for management? All stones? Oh. He had the stones to try, but no ability. Good win. Good win for the Ducks. Needed win. Oh, Edison conceded his first penalty. He'd saved the first two. That's a lot of saved penalties, isn't it? Except for Jan Oblak. Holy shit. Five penalties they've conceded. Mate. Oh dear. You were on a good run of form last time I heard. Are you trying to tell me that your all of your defenders coming back from injury has coincided with you becoming shit? Have you not considered just playing the defenders that you were playing before then and were in good form? Oh Ronnie starting up top. Big Ronnie up top against Jurgen Klinsmann and his new wall side. Oh, is that that Hungarian kid? The the CM. My magical Hungarian child. That's how I feel without Mag Magomed Magodem. Don't even know what his name is. All I know is he just scores absolute worldies on the reg. Yeah, Ronaldo starting up front, leading the line, centre forward. Costa and Vitolo on the wings. It is a heavily rotated side for Manchester. To be fair, Neil will have been shite. Also, it might just be we're only just through the heavy fixture congestion of Christmas. Maybe everyone's tired. Oh, 
whatever it is, gonna need to find a goal in the second half. Scouse legend, former Manchester legend, Diago Aspas might have been beating him up. Ronaldo trying to score from there as if he's fucking Carnu. Love Carnu. What a player he was. The OG, Peter Crouch. Oh! How's that made it all the way to Ronaldo? How does. Does Doug Costa just like do that step over through his legs thing? I don't know, it just misses him. Who are you? Kagla? What the fuck are you doing? Just stood there watching it. Grimaldo. Oh, Kevin Knips in, steals it. Yeah, I go last pass. Oh, who's the new manager? Someone, check the chat, tell me. Are they French? Big Mario is in. <laughs> Set instructions. Go in hard on Aspas. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me you're not a Yago Aspas fan? But you've only ever drafted plays you absolutely love. Look. It's full of United Legends that you love. And Herrera. Raphael. Fred. Aaron Wambasaka, Victor Lindelof. Yago Aspas last year was just another one of many. Who is it? Oh, big slat on a Harry Kane playing on the left wing. Harry Kane as a left winger. That's bold. Jürgen Klinsmann doesn't give a fuck. Ooh, Didier Deschamps back in action. Uh, Klinsmann correctly identified that Harry Kane as a left winger was a terrible idea and decides to bring him off. Oh, Ronaldo. Offside. There we have it. 1-0. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Did I start to spell that wrong? I must have spelled Didier wrong. That's awkward, isn't it? Poor coach nine. Clops at risk. To be fair, we oh no, I fucked it. Oh, we missed the we missed the pocket dogs exact their revenge on Surreal Madrid. Oh, Joe Linton scored. And oh, half man only scored from the spot. Uh, Obama Young was still a man of the match. Crazy. My bad, my bad. Oh, 
Oh, Mario Guts are getting some more starts lately. He has been playing well though. Fully deserved. No Starman in. All Starman Neymar missing. Oh yeah, Flick got a win, didn't he, against Brendan Rodgers. Oh, D'Ambrosio, just over the bar, enjoying his newfound freedom. Now he's not being forced to play at centre-back. Sorry we missed it, Francisco. Oh, Mats Hummels. Set piece. Nods at home. Duvan Zapata enjoying his uh, his run as the a starting striker in the league. Oh, Eric Laporte, another centre back, another set piece, opposite end, same result. Oh, that powerful header. Go. Ooh, doing his best Neymar impression, going on a little mazy run. Don't know why he elected to try and Robona that into the box, but uh, oh, puts it wide. Oh, couple of efforts blocked, and Mane puts it wide. Chan, Cruz, oh, finds work for Alonso, Cruz, no, uh, Charles for Zapata, can he get the ball into the box, not past Hummels, oh, Trippier, bulldozes Carrasco, Cruise. Oh. Oh. Cruise whips it in. Oh, Ryan Adams off. Oh, Zaha nips in, steals it. Find Sadio Mane. Oh. Onani gets a hand on it, but not enough to keep it out. Sadio Mane, ninth of the season. All because of Zaha getting stuck in. Onana's gonna feel a bit bit silly conceding that. Got to straight to Onana. Chan. Oh, do you mind nips in? Tadic. He's off. Can I get another equaliser? Oh, D'Ambrosio. Puts it over the bar by a mile. 
Tadic finds Nacho Monreal. Pretty sure Carrasco was offside. I was unlucky because that was some lovely football there. And that's another thing. Uh, in FM21, the VAR checks are a lot more exciting. You get the big pop up box in the middle. So, VAR check. Very exciting. Fine now them. Oh, flying. Flying. Can I get the equaliser? Do that's a power puts it over. Oh. Ricky Lambert in his moment of need has turned two. Adam Lalana has the man to turn this around. Oh, Ilicic is on. No more Zabata off the bench. Now it's Zabata onto the bench. Ilicic off it. Can he turn it around? Oh, Ilicic. Oh, he's put it wide. Wales finest is on. Wadri. Here it is. Ricky Lambert swapped into the 3-4-3. Here we go. We've got three centre-backs, kind of. Danny Alves in midfield. Adam Lallana on the left. And we push Nacho Monreal as the third striker. Will it pay off? We've seen the likes of Danny Alves as the third striker get a goal. So uh, I'm not going to rule it out. Ricky Lambert's been getting a lot of results from his 3-4-3. Three, three. In the chitch. Oh. Lalana can't quite get there. Rodri. Lalana. Tadic. Puts it wide. Oh. Lalana, they've got numbers on their side. Ilicic, can you get it in? Oh, it almost fell to Nacho Monreal. It would have been a tap in, but Monreal just couldn't quite find the ball. Oh, another chance. Monreal's in the middle. Oh, and he's absolutely fluffed it. He had the opportunity to rescue a point, and he fluffed it. Maybe Monreal was not the man that was required. Los Hios, hold on. Right, up next, Arbored versus the Manx. Oh, Bielsa starting in his 4 2 4. I love it, I love it. Including Starman Perisic. Got Starman Saul over here for the Manx. It really does, doesn't it? <laughs> that's that's what I've been noticing in the last few streams. Yeah. I think Gobshite... Oh, Mbappe, what a goal. I think Gobshite Season 5 is going to be glorious. So much nicer to watch. For sure. Bielsa and Arbored got it all to do now. The Manx have been in a poor run of form, so they'll be enjoying the fact that they're in the lead, but definitely wary. 
They don't want to give it away. Perisic, Salah, oh! Ramos clears off the line. Chilio, Perisic, oh, big Chiro! Taps home the equaliser. Yeah, yeah, the, the goalkeeper average rating thing in particular is massive. Massive change. Which is good. Because, like, it's basically impossible to get a seven. Whereas now they can actually, when, if you've got a keeper in good form, they'll actually have good average rating. Which is nice. I think at the minute, my keeper's got the highest f form out of anyone in my squad. Oh, Perisic, just over the bar. Salah, oh. Neves, no. Oh, and Bappe's off. Finds Di Maria. Oh, and it fizzles out. Salah with a free kick. Oh, Felipe puts over the bar. Ramos. Miramendi. Mbappe. Otamendi. Perisic. Oh, how's that not gone in? Di Maria, Salt, oh, just over the bar, over the bar. In the second half we go. Bielsa sticking with a 4-2-4. Nevers, Perisic, Nacho, Salah, Nevers, oh, puts it wide. Oh, chance for the Manx on the counter. Mbappe's flying, swings it across. Saul, oh, what a goal. Lovely volley there from Saul. That's a point. Why do I say Saul and not Saul? Because it was Raul, right? Why do they not rhyme? Different accents, maybe? Or am I just uh, saying Saul wrong? Who knows? Oh. Arcadius finds Chiro. No. Everton finds Mbappe. Oh. So it should be Saul. Everton. Oh. I've read Bielsa and the boys. They've got it all to do now. Right then, we'll add Saul to my list. Raul. What a player he was. Oh. oh, Di Maria. 
plenty of space. And he's fucked it. Nice ball, Perisic picks it up, Cachilio. Scarinia clears. Felipe, Nacho. Oh, oh, couple good efforts there for Ruben Neves. Right in his wheelhouse. Oh, Jekko's on, love Jekko. Ah, oh, Saul. Actually, sure blazes that one. Oh, Di Maria. Oh, that's the ball on the back of there, but it's ruled out. In the build-up. Gaia. Ambitious. Jekko. <laughs> Do Maria swings it in? No. Oh. <laughs> Chira outnumbered. Oh, Koke's flying. Tostegan is equal to it. Saul. Mbappe. He's going the wrong way. Referee blows his whistle. And a comfortable win for the Manx. If we refine a bit of form from that. Right. Geese versus BBC. Would love a BBC win. I... Uh, Clawed the deficit back to seven. Would like to keep it at seven. Ah, yes. Uh, this. Fucking Mourinho. This I like. I love that Milner's playing left back. I love it. Johnny's been shifted over to right back. Rashford, right midfield. Classic. I love that Mourinho is playing a flat 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. But he's put Bale and Rashford as his two midfield, wide midfielders. At that point, just play the flying V. Oh. Rashford, no. Oh, chance here. Oscar. Finds Benzema. Oh. You expect better from the second best striker in the world. You expect better. Son puts it over. Ooh, Bale. Rashford. Oh, I've got to do better than that. Gelman to Madison. Benzema. Lovely ball through. Benzo, I can't even get it on target. Not ideal. William Allen, Lachelcio. Oh, 
all square up the half, just like Mourinho planned. Rashford, oh. Chelsea. Oh, Jimenez heads it straight at Neto. Oh, Dr. Marcus Rashford, MBE, in need of a doctor himself. Oh, son thunders that goal, Woods. Keeper equal to it. Swings it back in. Oh, William. Doesn't really trouble the keeper. Benzema. Oscar finds Bale. Can he find Benzema in the middle? He can. Benzema again. Can't even get it goalwards. Leon Bailey off the bench. Milner. Oscar. Two elements. Out of a Traore. Oh. Skips past the defender. Can he? Oh. Well, the floodlight means I don't see where it happened. So I don't know if this is going to be a penalty or not. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that it is a penalty. No penalty. Man, never lucky. Senad Lulic, the attacking fullback, is on to play centre mid. Phil Foden. Cut it back for Bale. Oh. Leon Bailey. Plenty of space here right wide. Tomori and Allen. Lulic. Watch Elcio. Vertonghen. Oh. Benzema wins corner, maybe? Bale, Benzema, offside. Benzema, not been a great help this game. He's had a few good opportunities to get something done and has managed to fuck all of them up. And there we have it, a board draw. I'll take it. Gets me once, it gets me Two points closer to the geese. Now I'm only uh, eight behind. Progress. Now, Monday Night Football. And oh boy, is it a big one. It. Wait, who is he looking at? First versus third. Now the pigs came into it, into the week, in second. So big game. Big, big game. Modric is in. Ismaili still keeping his start. Thoroughly deserved if you ask me. Oh my god, Ismaili, top goal scorer. Things you love to see. Oh, no star man for this last one on the side. And Gabrielle in for the holding midfield instead of Ben Tanker, maybe? Huge game. 
title implications coming out of the wazoo with this one. Oh, not the start. The pigs wanted. Florenzi gets sent off in the fifth minute. Now it's going to be damage limitation for the next 80 minutes. What a shit, shitty start to what was going to be a real exciting game. What is it with the pigs and an early red card in a very important game? Ismaili. Oh! Oh! Ismaili don't give a fuck how many players are on the pitch. He's like, Luca, give it to me. Look at this. Ismaili. He doesn't give a fuck. Farsa who? Counts as two men, does this Miley? A pig's win would be perfect because then we we have one point separating first and third. Our three horse race would be in full effect then. Dembele Sane. Oh, who are you? Boateng comes flying in there at the back. Lovely work. Christensen again. Delict goes backwards, Barilla. Oh no. Ziesh with a slap on the wrist. Look at this. If they can hold on, one point between separating first and third. All very, very similar goal difference as well. Which, let's be honest, is actually pretty insane considering Manchester have a 9 0 win. Oh, Teleso. No. Last one to get back in time. Oh, Ziyech nips in. Dybala makes it two. Down a man, up two goals. Pigs mean business and Barcelona looking a bit shit on the day. Ziyech nips in. Shot blocked, bounces straight to Dybala as an easy tap in. And the pigs hold on for half an hour longer. Maratta on. Pigs are out of substitution. No, no, no. Oh, an idiot. I don't need pigs are out of substitution. Donny van der Beek is on. Look at only his third appearance of the season. Albert. Sane. Oh. <laughs> well, hey. Five minutes left. Can Barcelona find a couple of miracles? Or will the pigs? Reign supreme. Pigs are top of the league and having a laugh. Top of the league, having a laugh. Top of the league and having a laugh. <laughs> you, you only had ten men, but Ismaili counts as about three. The man's the man's incredible. Right. 
quick, 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 quick. In third for goal of the week, it's your boy, Saul. Mbappe, great run, great run, swings it in, Saul on the volley, squeezes it in the near post, lovely, lovely. In second, Saul, Mbappe, oh, plays it through, Everton, why is that second in goal of the week? Terrible, that goal, oh my god. Did the judges only watch this one game? What a weird week for goal of the week. Manx got the hat trick though. Fair play. Uh, exciting games coming out. Weasels, dogs. No, Arbor Red Pigs. New league leaders get to test themselves against Arbor Red. Barcelona, fresh off their defeat, looking to regain some control, will be against Los Hios, who are in great form, right? Yeah, three wins in a row. BBC Martyrs, Martyrs, fresh off a defeat to Lake Anar, Klopp at risk. No win in... So they beat the Menace 6-0, and then they've not won since. It's like fucking Manchester. Who are up against Manx, and then we've got Nilwall versus the Geese. Sirs versus... Sir FC Sirs have won the Serum Jablowie. Halfman versus Ducks. Halfman... Mm, middling form. And Menace Lovell de Lofut on Monday. Menace are in good form, right? Yeah, off back to back wins. So, so uh, Flick has won both his games. A lot of hope here for this Menace team. Uh, and we will also have cup games soon Pro maybe not tomorrow maybe it'll be the day after we'll start getting the cup oh the cups we'll start getting the cup games sometime soon there we have it much love and uh toodaloo